Welcome to Taking It, where we talk about whatever the fuck we feel like talking about. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> First up on the list is very unfortunate, but the details of Tayana Taylor's, what's the word? Divorce? Yeah. Her divorce to Iman Shumpert have been released. All right, first of all, who the hell is Tian Teller again? And who's who's Mr. Shumpert? And do they have a lot of money? Tayana Taylor? Yeah. You just asked me who Tayana Taylor was? Yeah. For the people who are also underneath rock like me. You know, I thought this was called Medium Ghetto Podcast, not White People Podcast. Because how the fuck... You don't know who Tayana Taylor is. Because, you know, because... I don't know. I know she in divorce. All right. Well, (laughs) (laughs) Tayana Taylor is... I don't even know really how to fully explain it. She's a black icon, um, a fashion icon, an actress, a singer. She's very talented, multifaceted. Um, 10 out of 10. (laughs) Uh, and Iman Shepard, um is a former NBA player. No, oh, now why the hell are you in divorce? So it's gonna be a perfect couple. That's what we thought this whole time. We thought they had that Jada and that Will love. They did. Apparently not, because according to the paperwork that was filed, um, Iman was jealous of Tayana, and so he was. Emotionally abusive to her. But how? He would say slick stuff when there would be like a headline about her. He would text her something smart with the headline. Um, he cheated on her. What? I mean, why? 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 What kind of things would he say like a headline? I they didn't go into detail like that. I didn't see all that. I just saw like. He was mad because they would be on a red carpet and the photographers would ask Iman to move over so they can get a shot of Tayana by her. That would piss me off, too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Not move out the way, get out the picture real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of bad. Yeah, I'm, yeah, let's take a couple shots with her by herself. That's fucked up. Like, he wasn't there. Mm-mm. And they probably don't want to post her. Yes. Yeah, well, Tayana and her husband. Photos of them together. I seen a, a whole bunch of them out and about. <laughs> they was in the um. She when I did the um. You won't have to edit this part because I can't have to fucking think of it. The damn Kanye West video. What flashing fade. lights? Fade. Yes. Fade. She did the fucking fade video, and oh, they were shit. both at it at the end with their daughter. Oh wow. Yeah. They've been together for years and years and years. How long? A like, long time, like ten years. I think they got married in twenty seventeen. Oh shit! Damn. And they had the best reality show. Damn. I didn't watch it. Yeah, they, they had, had they had too? a reality show. Um, I don't know, Tiana and Iman, <laughs> Iman and Tiana, or something like that. Aww. But it was it was really good. Like it was the best black representation of family life as a celebrity. Yeah, because until recently, they really didn't have any, like, extra shit in the media. You just saw them being a family. But, and being unproblematic. Unpro- but mm-hmm. the thing about that is, first of all, we don't know what they be doing, like, behind doors. But then it started coming out that they were dating, like, other people. Mm-hmm. Was it in mine? Mm-hmm. And then T- Tiana, she put out a statement like, all right, we've been separated. Mm. And then we like, oh, shit. And then goes to find out she's been filed for divorce. The divorce, too. Yes. She filed for that in January of this year. Oh, wow. So it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah. was, that was actually after the last thing that I saw. There was a girl, um, a couple of girls in a hotel room. And the one girl was like, had her front facing camera, but you could see Iman in the background with mm-hmm. like some girl in the bathroom, and that's when everybody yeah. was like, "Wait a second, what the fuck is going on?" Right. And then yeah, and Tayana released that statement. Mm-hmm. And I mean, as long as they're 
try to keep it under wraps and not get too many people involved. I mean, not all couples are going to make it all the way. They're not, but it's sad because they, again, they're a beautiful couple with beautiful kids. kids. And there's not that many, like, big, successful marriages for people our age anyway. There isn't. What you, you, what's some reason you think there aren't? Like, why are we getting these divorces? Why aren't these relationships lasting even to get to marriages lately? 99% of people don't even get married, first of all. So, yeah. them two getting married was like everything. And then, I don't know. I don't know. Most people don't even get married. They don't even get to that point. They don't. I don't know if people just feel like they can always find something better. I think that's it, too. I could always find something better. It's crazy. I blame it on social media, but and the dating pool is so large, there is always going to be someone who might look better on social media. That's a good point. So he probably thought, I got all this money. I can get with anybody I want. I'm very successful. Who would deny all this? I'm tall, black, mm-hmm. you know. Wealthy. Wealthy. So who would deny this? I can get with anybody better than her. And it don't matter how much money they make because they still look good. So you probably shot a uh, shot yourself in the uh, foot, because Instagram is fake, almost nothing but fake body. So yeah. I understand the temptation. People, grandmoms and grandfathers be on that bitch looking at niggas and, and ladies. Be like, damn. I mean, it is temptation. He's married to Tayana Taylor. Did you what? see that fake video? She was the woman's sexiest woman alive, or something like that. Yes. Well, what if you want another sexiest woman alive? There's not anything, but you can't even upgrade from that. Damn. You can't. You can just let your ego get in the way and convince you that more women is better than just that one. Which is not true, because, like, having more than one of y'all is already, uh, one of y'all is enough. Thanks. I think that, um, an upgrade is not just a person looking better, though. It's a b- better attitude. Yeah, yeah, they well, might not. They might have grew apart, like mentally. Like it, I feel like if if that was the case, then they would still be together. <laughs> um, looks don't have nothing to do with it. Yeah, after a while, you're like, fuck it. I understand. I don't want this because I don't. They don't make me look happy. Don't make me happy. I don't feel fulfilled. Mm-hmm. They don't feel my love tank. I think that's a big thing too, like marriages and shit. A lot of times, you think, all right, they look great. They have all the essential things that for a half relationship but right. in reality none of them are actually loving each other how they actually want to be loved and then eventually somebody gets drained and when you get drained you just like I want to just do something else I hope find someone else and as soon as you go out let's say you go to a bar or you talk to someone who might fulfill a little ounce of what you've been mm-hmm. missing you might be like oh they're really nice I hope to see them again and then you end up seeing each other again and then thoughts start to happen like maybe there is somebody who can love me better out there. That's a good point. I mean, you don't know everybody, so of course there's, you know. Yeah. You just gotta pick who you want to pick and who is worth it to you to just do everything with from from now on. You just gotta pick your person. Exactly. It don't matter if they're like a superstar or not. I think a lot of people think when we think. People with a lot of money, they they have everything accomplished. They have their self confidence. They have their their generosity. They have all these traits inside. We make up all these fake needs just to get there. Mm-hmm. And then we see someone get there. We expect them to be this high standing citizen. And really, honestly, they just play their cards right financially and talent wise. And they focus on what they need to focus on to get there. Yeah. And they never really focused on being a good person. And I think we assume everybody's a good person. That's right. Well, and if when you're married or when you're in a relationship, you live with the guy or the girl, you see the worst of them. Yes, and I guess that's what we are now learning about in this relationship. That you know, people might look at Iman and be like, "Oh, he's on top of the world. He's a successful NBA player." You know what I mean? Like he has a great family and all that shit. But to him, he not doing enough, or his wife just doing too much. I guess I don't know. Yeah, Tiana Taylor could be annoying as shit for all I know. She was just doing annoying shit. <laughs> I would suggest uh, watching their their uh, reality show. Reality show. 
Was it really that beautiful? Tell us about it. It wasn't beautiful. And I'm not telling y'all about it. <laughs> I just said go watch it. Damn. Not even a synopsis. Fair enough. It's it's reality show. You think it's really reality? To... Or they, they, I know they're acting, but... No. It didn't seem like they were acting. For real? Mm-mm. It seemed, seemed like uh, every day, like, like the Kardashians. I they're see. acting. They're hard people. But, I um... mean, at this point, yeah, but... It was, it was like a reality show, and it was... Tiana, Iman, Lil Juni, and mm-hmm. Rue. And then the aunties. Damn. It was nice. But you, you get to see more of their personality that way and how their family dynamic is. Okay. I'm probably going to watch it. What is it on? I have no idea. It was on BET, I think. BET? Like the actual one. But by now it's probably on BET+. BET Plus. Damn. You got my membership? Or you can watch it on bootleg. I, I'm gonna get the bootleg. <laughs> I'm gonna just get the bootleg. <laughs> but I think like going back to like her, their marriage and like emotionally, physically abusive, and it must be wild to be like a divorce and work at a divorce court. You see her like celebrities pop out out of nowhere. Her and what? Her like celebrities pop up out of nowhere in the divorce court because you gotta like submit it to a to a person. So they probably was like, oh, is that Tiana Taylor? Oh yeah, that's true. I'm sure that's how a lot of this stuff gets out. Yeah, because, like, yeah, somebody probably leaked it from there too. They probably be selling, of course, we probably selling information they shouldn't be saying. That's what I see today, baby. Mm-hmm. Tell her, tell, tell her. They don't have no um, confidentiality rights. They don't. They don't. It's, it's not like knowledge. Hi- yeah, it's not like HIPAA. Oh shit! I never knew yeah. that. They probably be selling that shit, making millions of dollars. Especially when you live in like. LA, LA County yeah. and places where a lot of celebrities live. They probably mm-hmm. s- going through that paperwork every day yeah. looking for real names, aliases, all types of stuff. Mm-hmm. I know the cool thing about working for a big company is like uh, well, we have security department for cyber security so no one can see like the celebrities who purchased her from it mm-hmm. because so much like it's all their addresses and stuff is there and everything. That makes sense. They need, they need that course. You shouldn't be known. Like, you know, when separation is a big deal, I think you need, in most states, you got to be separated and outside the household you can, or you can't lay in the same bed. I think they said for about a year before you can get a, a divorce if unless it's uh, uncontested uh, or no fault. Right, you got to separate it first. Yeah. Very well, well. At the same time, that's very sad. Rest in peace, family. But you shouldn't be jealous of your woman, guys. Don't be jealous. Right. Jealous for what, though? Like, yeah, you make more than her. She don't even do what she used to like to do anymore. And what's the point? Yeah, that's the most hurtful thing. Because I don't think he makes more than her. He, At this current time, he makes more than her. What's well, the strings of when income? he was mad, he made more than her. When he was still playing basketball, which right. was several years ago. Right. I don't know. That wasn't in the paperwork. Well, I don't know who makes more. So I, you think I, I would think that I mean, Tiana makes more because she has multiple streams of income. And what what do he do? I mean, when you have when you are building income off of what they explained is forty eight million dollars already. Like I know Tiana Taylor not worth. You ask Rihanna, she ain't worth shit. But you know, I know Tiana Taylor not <laughs> worth forty eight million dollars. So, yeah, worth? Uh, okay. Yeah, worth is also like if that's, he makes that's 40, a weird thing. But unless he spent like recklessly, he should have property and stuff, right. which is probably worth a lot more. And people make more money from businesses than acting careers anyway. And maybe then a lot of actors and stuff, you know, they they say that. Right. So unless he did some dumb shit and you know, we're flying up strippers and trying to be P Diddy out here. I mean, now he probably burned through it. Exactly. Thank you for watching Taking It. And we hope you enjoyed our content. Let us know what you think about what we were talking about today in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and check out our last video.